Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. How are you this beautiful day? It's finally an actual beautiful day here in uh, Warner Robins. We have had the most, the windiest week. I think I've ever seen here. I mean, goodness, it's been crazy. Very, very, very windy, which is unusual. I mean, we just don't normally. I came from North Dakota. I know what wind is. And uh, we just don't usually have it here. But, uh, let's see. I have some brand new brand new product. I got my box from Stampin' Up! today. Um, of course, I did two-day shipping. If you haven't done, if you ordered and haven't done two-day shipping, you might be in for a wait because it, um, they're behind. Bless them. They're behind. So, Let's look at some of the new product. Here is, we're going to start with designer series paper because it's probably always my favorite. And this is masterfully made. I'm telling, I haven't opened any of this. I did open the big box. But masterfully made. This one on the front I was looking at. This is... It's little strips of paper. I mean, it's a picture of little strips of paper that have been ripped and laid out. Till it's it's very interesting. Okay, so let's see what else we have. So that's one. Ooh, so I guess these are all made with scraps of paper. That's our customers, our demonstrators, and employees make a difference. If you can read that, it takes a minute. Something community. Oh, goodness. United States and its territories. Goodness. Like, it'd take me a minute. I'm going to read more of that. Oh. <gasps> This is pretty. I like this a lot. There's words in the background. Can you see the words in the background? It says handmade underneath there. I don't know what else it says. Somebody will tell us what it says. Ooh, that's a very nice rainbow there. This is pretty. Pretty, pretty. Ooh, and one more with roses. Look at that, how pretty. Okay, so let's flip it over. Let's see what the B side looks like. Are you ready? Ooh, so this is Berry Burst and Lemon Lime Twist and Pretty Peacock and Fresh Freesia, I'm pretty sure. And, yeah, Pretty Peacock and Fresh Freesia. I love these colors. I love these colors. So that's awesome. Okay, so that's one paper, one designer series paper. I have to get all my labeling done. I made myself a list of things I was going to do today. And then, guess what? None of it happened. So I bought a new printer. So lots of things have happened today. None of them were on my list. So <laughs> this is Earthen Elegance. So um, I bought a new printer. And I'm not a computer whiz at all. So I asked my IT girl, because I have an IT girl. Her name is Lee Kaiser, and I love her to pieces. Um, but I asked her to come over and 
um, attach it to all the things because, you know, I like I can turn it on, but that's about all. So I plug it in and it blows the breaker. And I'm like, oh, well, let me unplug some stuff. Nope. I unplugged everything from that circuit from these two outlets in my home. I unplugged everything. And every time we turn the printer on, it flips the breaker. And so, like, I'm an aircraft uh, maintenance person, so I know a little bit. And I'm like, so this is this is wrong. Anyway, so I Google it, and it says that you can um, upload new firmware and fix it. Well, there you lost me. So my IT girl comes over. She uploads new firmware, and guess what? It didn't fix it. So then we had to call a friend. Phone a friend. And he came and swapped breakers. I learned where to turn the power off to my home. I've lived here over 20 years. Didn't know that. So, this is, what did I say this was? Earthen, earthen elegance. I think I like it a lot. I like earthy tones. I like, ooh, I like all of the... If you can make it look vintagey, oh yeah, this is my jam right here. This is my kind of paper. I am digging this 100%. Yep, this is my kind of paper. Well, I guess I have two kinds of paper. Because I like cutesy paper too. Flowery papers? Really not so much. Not so much me. That one's very interesting. Very interesting. I like the muted colors. I like that one. Earthen. It's earthy. <gasps> this is the flower shop. Les shops. I like to pretend. Well, I did live in France for a little while. I speak zero French. Como se va? That's all I've got. That's all I know. I'm fluent in food. But, like, I can read the menu. I can't say the words, but I can read it on the menu and point to it. I know what I want. That's cute. These are adorable. There's bread. <sighs> I love bread. Absolutely. And ice cream cones. Oh, I like this one. The little shops on there. I think I ordered all the designer series paper. Oh, here's different ones. Oh, like there's the there's the bakery. Oh, and here's the bookstore. What's on this last one? Oh, books. There you go. All you teachers out there. There's all the books. Okay, let's ready. Are you ready to flip it? Let's flip it. Let's see what's on the other side. Ooh, this kind of looks like the boho one. It's not, but it looks like the boho one. The boho, the boho one's in here. We'll sh we'll see it. I like those. I like those. I definitely like the A side better than I like the B side of these, which is not always the case. But lace shops. That one's pretty. Okay, what's next? <gasps> the fishing one. This one is called Let's Go Fishing. That's an apt name for fishing stuff. I don't think I got the stamps for this yet, but I did get the paper. Because I'm a sucker for paper. Look at them cute little fishies. Fishy, fishy. Here, fishy, fishy. Oh, look at these. Oh, flies. Lures. Perfect. <gasps> oh. Do you guys know anybody that fishes? Fly fishes? Ooh, that's pretty. Just the water. Make it look like water. Let's see what else we got. There's fishing poles. And more fish. I'm digging all the different colors of blue. And it's got them all. Boho blue, misty moonlight. There's more than that. There's more than that. Different colors of blue in there. Okay, ready? Flip. Ooh. 
I like that. You know, we always have to have one that's kind of manly. So there you go. Ooh, this is the, like the sonar of the bottom of the bottom of the lake. That's kind of neato. Neato bandito. This one looks like, does anybody have a pillow that looks like this? It looks like pillow ticking. That's exactly what that looks like. That me reminds me of my mama. My mama. Ooh, remind me, I'll show you what I cross-stitched. When we get done. Stargazing. I don't know about this one. We'll have to see. The jury's out. I think it's awesome if you like this kind of stuff. Okay, so this I'm digging. Okay, just get that point across. Let's see. Oh, maybe this isn't the one I thought it was. I like these. Oh, it is the one I thought it was. Because there's all the planets. Somebody's going to have to figure out something else to do with those planets. Because I just don't know that I need to make a planet card. I guess I can just use the, I guess I can just use the B side. Because here we go. Let's see what, oh yeah. Because I like that. And that is, I like that. I like the stars. The berry burst. What color is that supposed to be? Tahitian Tide? And Orchid Oasis? What color is that supposed to be? That goes with Let's Go Fishing. That's not helping me. Let's see. Let's see what colors they are. See, because look at how... Look at that. Can you see how bright it is? Let's see. Let's read. Basic black, berry burst, black berry bliss, blueberry bushel, blueberry bushel, crushed curry, flirty flamingo, fresh freesia, lemon lime twist, night of navy, orchid, oasis, pumpkin pie, starry sky, Tahitian tide. There's a lot of colors in here. All of your colors match. All of your colors match. That's stargazing. And this is the boho one. Oh. Countryside Inn. I guess it's not called Boho. It does look Boho. It looks... I would call it Boho. Not it. Countryside. I think this was in the pre-order, and I don't think I pre-ordered it, because... Yeah, at the time. That rabbit? Mm. The bird? Maybe not. These are just my opinions, people. Just my opinions. There's a little fox. He's kind of cute. And then some trees. Let's see what the other side looks like. Yep, these are the sides I'll be using if I use it, probably. Yep, I'll use the B side. Because. And these guys right here. Have we talked about this? The Zoo Crew. I told you I'm going to order like 37 of these papers. I only ordered two extras because I already had two, but so these little guys right here are all moving, right? So they're all moving. And then these guys are all celebrating birthdays or something celebrating. And then these guys are doing things around the home, right? He's painting. That's Bob Ross and he's doing cooking and she's knitting I love a llama that's knitting. And then these guys all have music. They're cute. And then... And then these guys right here are all dancing. And they're adorable. There's a reindeer in a tutu. Everybody needs a reindeer in a tutu. And these guys are all camping. Because if you don't have a skunk with binoculars and a bird on his head, I mean, like, what are you even doing? Right? So then on the back, it's all just black and white. Which is kind of cool, but it's very, very busy black and white. Very busy black and white. I tried to make a card with the back side of one of those, and it just didn't work. I made a cute card, but it did not have anything to do with the back side black and white of those. So there's two of those. B 
because I absolutely love that paper. And that one actually already has a space. Okay, so then next and lastly, I have Delightfully Eclectic. Oh, that's the last 12 by 12. I got some others. Delightfully Eclectic. There's a bunch of paper here. I think there's 40, there's 48 sheets in this pack. So there's four of each. If you need a lot of paper, this is the way to go. So there's swans. That's eclectic, all right. And then some tulips and dots and fresh freesia stripes and then some flowers on the back and some pretzels. Again, eclectic. <gasps> Those are pretty stripes, though. And then we have typewriter letters. You can cut your name out. And some hearts on the back. Oh, every once in a while, there's a pink heart. That's kind of neat. This is going to match a punch. This punch right here. It is... That part's going to match the punch also. Oh, I like that. Like stationary there. Or a ledger if you're an accountant. There's some daisies. And some stripes. And lemons. Those lemons. And then the blue. More ledger paper, it looks like. The... Flowers and the blues. There's a lot of blues. We have a lot of blues, people. There's some strawberries and some fresh freesia triangles. And is that crushed curry? And some more flowers and some more flowers and just all the flowers. And then some black and white designs that'll make you dizzy. So, what is this? Eclectic. Delightfully eclectic. That sounds familiar. Like, we've had something named that before. But probably not. Just probably close. Now, we have Glorious Gingham. Let's see what this looks like. Berry Burst, Blueberry Bushel, Lemon Lime Twist, Pecan Pie, and Pretty Peacock Look at how pretty. I love every one of those. I love every one of those. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, little gingham on the back. I like that. I'm a fan. This is the in color paper. Let's see what designs we have. We have little lines and some polka dots of all the different colors. And then let's see what's on the back. Hearts and stripes. Diagonal stripes. I like those. And I like those colors a lot. Let's see. You guys have probably already seen this. Bright and beautiful. I didn't get this paper for the pre-order. But this is the one that goes with the balloons. All the balloons. So today in my mail, so here's the things I've learned today. I learned how to turn power off to my house. Did I tell you that? Um, we changed to circuit breaker. Thank goodness for friends that know how to do things like this. Look at these are beautiful. I like these a lot. This one's my favorite right here. Oh, I like this one, too. I like that one. Oh, I'm going to have to do something like that for card class. It got mashed in my box. My corners got mashed. Luckily, I don't ever use a 6 by 6 piece of paper to do anything. I always cut it at some point, so it'll be okay. And then this one looked pretty. Inked Botanicals. You know, when you do this with scissors, don't do it on the front. Do it on the back where the cardboard is. Don't mess up your paper. Inked botanicals. These are pretty. I like these colors. Ooh. 
Ooh, I like that one. It looks like fall. I'm a fan. I'm a fan of fall. Which is probably why I like this paper. Because I like fall. Okay, ready to flip? Flip. Oh, yeah. I like this paper. This is pretty. Calypso Coral. Right? Is that Calypso Coral? What color is that? Uh, Petal Peak and Calypso Coral. I've always been a fan of Petal Peak. I've always been a fan. And this is the 2022 in color paper. So it's the same design. Just different colors. With the stripes and the dots and the heart. Oh, look at that. Parakeet Party is so pretty. Tahitian type. Ugh. Such pretty colors. Look, we got Valentine's built in. With our hearts. So, those are pretty. Okay, let's look at some stamps. You ready? We have new watercolor pencils. Which, you know, it's watercolor pencils. But there's some new colors. Fresh Freesia. Is one of the colors now. And Melon Mambo and Pecan Pie. And there's a black and a white. I don't I don't remember what colors we had before. And the blue just says blue. It doesn't say that it's any color blue. It just says blue. I'm not really sure why, why that is old olive. I don't know. Sometimes. I just don't know. Oh, so I have, I got all the markers. Many marvelous markers. And there's many, many, many marvelous markers. So, there's a new design for the marker. For the stamp and write marker. So let's use one. Are you ready? Hang on, let me get a scrap. So, we have, there's always been two ends, right? So, we have the brush end, which hasn't changed. So, we still have the brush end. And then we have a bullet end that's more like, what is this, pecan pie? What? So, it's more like the end of your, uh, blend marker right so you can actually write with it oh my i am digging these stamp and write markers because before there was that end that you couldn't really do anything with it it looked like it was going to be a fine tip but then it didn't work half the time so i am digging and the colors look very vibrant on here <laughs> very vibrant i like all right Stamp and write markers. We're going to have to use them more now. Can we do that? I have to figure out how to use them more. If, you know, if there are any comments, I haven't seen it. I haven't seen a comment at all. And I apologize right now, but um, I'll go back and look and see if there was any comments. But zero. I've seen zero comments. <sighs> Facebook and I sometimes. Okay. Next dext destination. Do you know what I love to do? I love to travel. This is all me right here. There's my ticket to get on the airplane, even though we don't use tickets anymore. We just use our phone. But there it is. Explore, dream, discover. Oh, I'm in. I don't know why we have a hat box, but, you know, I like it. There's my passport. <sighs> yeah, I'm in. I like that. Hey, Chuck. Do you think I got the dimes? I thought I got the dies. I don't see the dies. Maybe there's no dies. Look at these. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him with the po polka dotted shorts on. I, I can't even. Those are so... So dang adorable. Earth and textures. Okay, so this stamp set is available in Spanish if you would like it in Spanish. There's a flyer. I don't know what the number is. We can Google it and look it up. If if anybody needs it in Spanish, just let me know. Um, I, I really like this. Earth and textures. And there's dyes. That go with it. 
Let's see what the dies look like. Oh yeah, they cut out all the things. This one looks interesting here. I think it's just going to make a design. Oh, is it this design? It makes that design. It makes that design. That's neat. Okay. I don't know. We'll have to play with that. I don't know. I don't know. Definitely have to play with that. See what that's all about. Wait for one of those smart people, one of those other demonstrators to do something. Inked and tiled. These are neat. I like these. I think it matches that one set of DSP. Inked and tiled. Is that what these go with? Inked and tiled punch pack. That's what these go with. some more. We'll use this paper. I punched the monkeys out of it. May as well punch something else out of it. Wait. Let's get a different color. That's pecan pie, by the way. Oh, I'll show you. Hang on. I'm going to show you something. When you get a brand new punch, don't use it right away on something that you don't want to mess up because it has oil on it. They're made that way. They come with oil on it. So punch a couple times and get the oil out of your punch. Use some scrap paper. Get the oil out of your punch so you're not disappointed with the first thing. See, the first thing you punch out is going to have a little bit of oil on it. But then as you get going, there's no more oil. So don't freak out. It's okay. It's just the way they're made. So, look at these. They line up perfect. So, of course, you could probably use different colors. But, you line this up just like that. Or, you could line it up like that. And give it even more points. You can do whatever you want. But there you go. I like those punches. Those are fun. Maybe we'll use those in card class. I have to figure out what to make. But Okay, let's see what else we have. We have a sloth. What is this one? Sweet and precious. There is a giraffe and a sloth and a little ping oh, penguin. How cute. Bring on the cuddles. I'm always here for you. Look at that. Love it. Love it. Love it. Hope you know, wishing you comfort, saying thank you just doesn't seem enough. Hope you know how much your kindness is appreciated. Oh, I like that. You are the sunshine that brightens so many of my days. And the day after that, and the day after that, and the day after that, and the day after that. Mm. I like that. Thinking of you today, and the day after that, and the day after that. Oh. Kindest expressions. Sending sunshine and rainbows. Look at how pretty. Thanks so much. With sympathy. Oh, happy day. Love it. Just my type. Is that all one? <gasps> yes. Okay. The hello. It's all one stamp. That part. I was wondering if it was five separate stamps. But it's not. It's one stamp. Oh. Okay. So, spoiler alert. I'm going to show you something from, spoiler alert, I'm telling you right now, if you don't want to see this, turn your head. I earned the trip to Norway and I got my box today and I was wondering, they made me a card. There's a card. There's always a card in the box. And I was wondering where the stamp was from. That's it right there. So, spoiler alert, again, if you don't want to see this, don't watch, but this is from my Norway box. This is all I'm going to show you, but this is the card they made us. I love it, but that's the stamp right there. I wondered, but there it is. Ha! I know now. Okay, spoiler alert, over. I won't show anything else from my Norway box, because some people haven't gotten them yet, and I don't want to spoil this prize. Okay, gorgeously made. Look at how pretty. Oh, you know I love a background. 
I'm not really sure what that background is supposed to be, but I like it. Maybe you just put it on a little strip and put it on your card. I'm not really sure. Timeless arrangements. Oh, I like these. I really appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you for being my friend. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for always believing in me. Oh, I like these a lot. This, that's my favorite. Those little circles right there, that's my favorite stamp in the whole thing. I know, I'm goofy. Timeless Arrangements dies. Oh, these are the dies that goes with it. Let's see what they look like. Oh, we got more rectangles. So I bet these cut out these words just perfectly. You stamp those words and then you can cut that out just perfectly. Oh, look. Oh, yeah. And then all the flowers that don't really need. Oh, yeah. I like that. I like that. Sketched plaid. I love a background stamp. I love a background stamp. So that one's, that one's a winner. This one, I'm like, oh, I can make my son a card. Supremely awesome. He loves pizza with all that he is. He could eat pizza every day of his life and be totally okay. I mean, who couldn't, right? I mean, I don't know many people who don't like pizza. Courage and Faith. This one was made by Natalie Travis, and I love it. Absolutely love it. Okay. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Proverbs 3, 5. May the Lord bless and keep you. Number 6, 24. In everything give thanks. First, this, first Thessalonians 5, 18. And be of good courage. Psalm 27, 14. She said, we need a Bible verse stamp set. And I have to agree. And I am so, so glad that we have this. I love it. I can't wait to make things with that. Card class. We're going to have card class right here at my house on the 13th. It's at 10 a.m. If you'd like to come, I'd love to have you. I'm in Warner Robins, Georgia. So, you know, if you're not in Warner Robins, Georgia, then, you know, you're kind of, well, you know, central Georgia. But sorry if you're not. Every day, thanks. Oh, look at the band aid. This is great for nurses and teachers. Oh, yeah. Coaches. Love it. Okay. This is probably my favorite thing. My favorite, favorite thing. I think every card I make might be a shaker card. Are you ready? Can you see... How amazingly awesome. I'm glad that was that side of it and not the other side of this. Look at how amazingly awesome these are. I love these with every fiber of my being. We're making shaker cards, people. I know. You're shocked by that revelation. Okay. These right here, these are my jam. Adhesive back sparkle gem. I love. Look at how pretty. Silver and black and copper. Yeah, it doesn't get much better than that. And then, oh, I love all of the metallic ones. Neutrals. Adhesive back sequins. Those are, those are quite amazing. These I already had, and I'm really still wondering about them. Opaque ovals. There's a blue one underneath here. I'm, I guess if you use those colors, it's fine. Fresh Freesia, Lemon Lolly, or is that Bubblegum? It's not Bubblegum. What's it called? Bubble Bath? 
I haven't, I haven't learned yet. I think it's bubble bath. I don't know. I don't even see it here. I've lost it. <laughs> bubble bath. Yes, that's it. Azure afternoon, maybe? And pecan pie? I don't know, and it doesn't tell me. I like these. Tinsel gems. These are... <laughs> there are some of these that I just love. Oh, yeah. I don't know if that's lemon lime or parakeet party, but it's pretty awesome. Either way. These in color pearls. In color... Ooh, two, of, two of them came off. What, what what happened? Go back. I don't want to lose you. You still got adhesive on you. Stick. Okay. I hope that's not an indication of how fiddly they are. We'll play with them. I like those. Um, Adhesive back sequins trio. There's the white ones. Almost clear. And pink and pretty peacock, maybe? Tinsel gems. Didn't I already open those? No. We have different tinsel gems? Oh, this is a tinsel gems four pack. This is a tinsel gems three pack. Because they couldn't come up with a different name. You know, sometimes I wonder... So there is tinsel in there. You probably can't see it. I almost can't see it. But there is tinsel inside those gems. These are matte decorative dots. Those are pretty. And then I already have these. The in color dots. I got these at the pre-order. But yeah. Yeah. I like those. Okay, so favorite things right here. Favorites. Absolute favorites. Favorite stamp. Wait, this one right here. Courage and Faith. Favorite stamps. Favorite paper. Favorite paper. Favorite paper I already had. This one. The Zany Zoo paper. So th these are my favorites. Not those. Those aren't my favorites. Those are my favorite embellishments, favorite stamp, favorite paper. <laughs> I have a mountain over here. It's about to come. We're about to have an avalanche. But anyway, um, that's what I got. Those are my favorites. So let me know what your favorites are. Um, And I will talk to you guys next week, okay? We'll make something pretty next week. See you later.